upon hearing of the sad murder of our eminent citizen, the Labrador National Police went all out and launched a vigorous investigation into the murder of our citizens. And up to date, we are still talking to persons of interest, talking to neighbors, talking to friends, as it relates to the case of more Elliott. In the case of Richard Torbock, we are talking to people of interest, talking to family members, we are having leads all over the place, and we are investigating those leads. And at a subsequent time, we will get back to the public to update them on the outcome of those investigations. The government of Liberia has put up the amount of 15,000 for any individual or persons who will give any information that will lead to the arrest of any of the corporates in the three cases. Each of the cases will be $5,000 for compensation for any information from the corporate that will lead us to arrest this perpetrator. I, it is my pleasing pleasure to inform members of the press and the general public that based upon our investigative maneuvering, our investigation led us to as far as Riverside County. The investigative team is working all out on the full seven to ensure that those who are behind these murders are brought to book. So during the investigation, we had a lead, and our lead took us as far as Riverside County. And based upon the swiftness and the energetic spirit our officers placed into these investigations who were able in the murder of John H. Tuckman. However, we are pleased to announce to you all, members of the press and the, the entire citizen rate, that we have declared Emmanuel Forky. Our FDA community is located in the Pins Bay Belt. It's best known in his community as Emmanuel the Dancer, or the calling Dr. Love. So anybody who will gain information leading to the arrest of this gentleman will be rewarded handsomely. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, fellow citizens, we are pleased to inform you that we are going to leave no stone unturned, untouched, sorry. We're going to ensure that those who perpetrated these heinous crimes will be brought to justice. We are sure the Torba family, we are sure the Elder family that we are working around the clock and these perpetrators will be brought to book. However, I wish to also inform the general public that any information you have relating to any of these cases or other cases, please feel free to come to us and give us this information and we we'll definitely write on the information. We also like to thank the public for the cooperation with the Labor National Police doing this investigation. And I can show you that Labra is safe, and Labra is safe for us all to reside. Do not allow anyone to 
spare the woman or to give you the thinking that Liberia is not safe. Liberia is a very safe country, security wise. I thank you all. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, my name is Boko Stewart, and I write for Front Page Africa and Journal Rage. And um, I want to know what's the motive? Has there been any motive established behind the murder of um, John Tutman? And furthermore, um, initially there were two suspects, and now we're seeing the pool is widening with more people being added there. So what becomes of um, William V.S. Anderson, who, according to family sources, is also a sibling of um, uh, Christian Baron Anderson? Has he been arrested also, or is he also on the run? Well, okay, um, here's a briefing for the public. This case will have to be surfaced in court, so we are very careful into ensuring that we don't give up many details out here. Uh, the, the issue about Bibi Share, Share was brought in, Bibi Share is with us, but he has been investigated and he was signed for because we didn't find any link between he and his brother. So Bibi Sierra is here with us, the lawyer signed for him, and he's reporting on a daily basis. Thank okay. you. Yeah, Please, be recognized the way asked. Yes. OK, so my name is Kim Asmob, and I'm working for ABC Reader. We are beginning to get reports that um, the reason we are making was that uh, for an alleged money that the receipt was about to receive from one of the business that home, which is on level Can you confirm what we now want to tell you? Okay, uh, Baron and Aloysius were arrested day before yesterday, and they were brought in yesterday. We just commenced the investigation today, but we have to inform the 
general public as to every step we take in connection to this murder. So I will not sit here to actually give you the motive behind the killing. But however, as the investigation progress, we will get back to the general public to upgrade. Thank you. Massa. Related to the community outreach, it's going pretty well. We have visited most of the communities, and I can show you we go to the 16th uh, electoral district of Mosquito County, and I wish that we will proceed in the bigger counties as it relates to the payment of people or persons who will get information. As soon as better, I wish you will bring me information tonight, I will give you the money tonight. Tomorrow, I will give you the money tomorrow. So, uh, as I relate to why the killing is ongoing, look, you see, uh, if you look at the definition of murder, murder is taking somebody's life intentionally, willingly, recklessly, and with an intent. So, in any murder case, two components have to be present, which is actual rear and men's rear. Arthur Reyes is what is being used, the murder weapon or the way the person was murdered. So men's rear is your intent. So Betty, it's difficult, I'm sorry, Massa, I call you Betty. Uh, Massa, it's difficult to determine what is running through another person's mind. So when this murder occurred, we as investigators will use our professional skill to further get from that person what are the motive of committing the crime. So, and this crime was committed in the homes of these citizens. It's not something that occurred on the street, then we'll be asking why the people got killed on the street, why they're not police patrolling the street, but they were killed in the very homes. The only way you know a criminal in your home is set you a lamp for someone to hear. Other than that, it's difficult to determine whether the criminal is going in this house or that house. Thank you. Right. What can I do? Yes, I did. Thank you very much. First of all, I have to thank the police. The vigilance the police is being carried out. Okay. As you can see, a lot of police patrols in my community to see police vehicles every day. But if you talk about a POI, that's the person of interest in this particular case, who are these people? Are these people with criminal record that you know about? Or these are people uh, of high caliber in society? Well, like uh, Emmanuel, Emmanuel Fauci, who has been declared wanted by state security, Emmanuel, Emmanuel does not have any known record with the LMP. This is a young guy, uh, probably between 18, 19 years old, very young citizen. So, but we do not have any criminal record, so I cannot really thing as to why this crime was committed or doing our investigation, I can be, be rather sure during the investigation we we'll get to know what was the motive behind the killing of uh, John H. Tottenham. So let's take you and then we'll go. Thank you, my name is Olya Phillips. I'm ready for the new Nigerian newspaper. And you talk about the uh, was one of the two of us in the men but this lady from the immigration service X. Is there any information that showing me to commit the murder? Who the experience of that? Uh, uh, maybe you weren't listening at said, or probably you don't know her name. Her name is more Elliot. I spoke about more Elliot. Look, let me tell you, the 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 if one of our citizens lost his 
or her life is very important to the Labour National Police. We do not take that for granted. So whether it's more, it's taught more, it's stubborn, all of these people's death is really of concern to the entire nation and the government, the police are large. So uh, more case is being investigated. As I said previously, we are talking to people of interest and we are getting there little by little. Thank you. So let's take you. So my name is Yvonne Jolie and I report for Fabric FM. Um, three deaths in the last three months. Two of them are past president and the other one is an immigration officer. So has there been any conspiracy or linking the three deaths? Because it's all in a sequence and they draw a lot of reckless. So has there been any um, lead so far as the weather is or the experience that on the weather is linking directly to each other? Well, uh, like I said, we we all were getting the puzzle, and now we have built the puzzle for uh, John Tuckman and our puzzle almost the pyramid is almost completed. When we have our Emmanuel arrested, then the pyramid will be completed. So, like I said, we just brought in the corporates. It will be investigated thoroughly, we will establish motive, then we'll get back to the public. Mm -hmm. We cannot say as to whether the case involving the death of these three eminent citizens are politically motivated or family few or just for ordinary killer. We have not established any link as such. But during this investigation, Definitely will get back to the public as to what is precipitating the killing of what precipitated the killing of these people. Okay, so we'll take James. Uh, James Goodflow, Sponga from the TV. Uh, Aji, what is happening to your administration? Uh, two former presidents, children that are almost in the same uh, period, and we have the bar, we have a very big uh, celebration coming up. What is happening uh, when it comes to you providing security for the people of my community? With all of these deaths taking place, what are you doing to make sure we are safe in this country? Thank you so much, James. Thank you, James. Look, like I said, we will not downplay any individual death in this country. And the question you pose, I will answer you, but I don't want any of these family members to feel bad that we are inflicting the death of the relative to other country or other people. Look, this is a city like any other city in the world. People can die, and the matter of fact that when these deaths occur, it is us upon the law enforcement agency to go after this perpetrator and bring them to court. So, uh, as you can see, we brought people to book that are linked to the murder of the, uh, the late John Tuckman. So, like I said, you can be rest assured that the past Italian will take place in a very peaceful atmosphere and the joint security is set and ready for any eventuality and we are sure that we beef up our patrols like we have already done, and we'll make sure that these people who are coming in the country, they all will be seen. Thank you. Yes, so we'll uh, take a comment. Uh, Mr. Apart from this committee, as we should, is there any kind of measure that you are going to be able to bring many, many relatives in the country? And what also measures that you put in place to follow up at your places? Well, uh, like I said, I think you heard one of your police just said uh, he extended thanks and appreciation to the Labour National Police because he saw a lot of people in the community, officers in the community patrolling on a daily basis. We have divided the entire Montserrado into Zoom and we are patrolling those Zoom on a daily basis. You will find out that officers 
will be all around vehicle patrol, foot patrol, and you name it. Because we have to ensure that our people sleep in peace. Uh, if you visit the 72nd Barrack, 72nd Barrack was a no go zone. But I would want you to go there today and ask what is happening in 72nd Barrack. The whole place is calm. We have demolished all of the ghetto in our area, and those who are involved in the sales of drugs, they are being arrested. And people, most of the guys were terrorizing, people fled. So we are doing that to all of the neighborhoods. We are working with the community leaders to make sure our neighborhoods are safe. No police work can be actively uh, 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 functional when you do not work with the people. This is why we're using the philosophy of community policing to work with the people so as to reduce crime in the bureau of community. Thank you so much, Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Let's take the uh, director. Okay. Uh, thanks for having me. And uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. 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 Assault, or are you following other leads? Well, like I just announced, we have one other person that is being named as wanted for the death of John H. Totten. Look, we will not sit there to say we have arrested two persons, so the, the case is closed. Maybe during our investigation, all of these pop up. Or all of people will be linked. Definitely, we will have to go uh, out to get anybody that will be linked. So for now, I cannot tell you whether the case is closed or not. But what I say to tell you here is investigation is ongoing. Thank you. Okay, so Bazani. Thank you. Thank you. Two questions quickly. First, one, one, what, what is the age? Or what are the ages of the two suspects? I didn't get that. I don't know what I said. Secondly, um, uh, have the two suspects committed to the com uh, admitted to the commission of the crime? Okay, oh, thank you very much. Uh, I spoke to the two suspects and they all admitted to the commission of the crime. And according to a lawyer, he was lured in the building by the nephew of the late. John H. Dutton, who is Baron, Christian Baron Anderson. Thank you. What are the ages? Well, uh, there is conflict within the, the age factor, but we will solve that because uh, Alasha is claiming to be 16 years old. And Baron is telling us, no, Alasha is 19 years old. <laughs> so there is conflict. But we will get there. And lots of parents are here also. And one, uh, one thing I would like to state, we brought in a luscious mother and father. They are facing investigation. And let me make this clear. Let me make it very clear to the listening audience. We will not condone anybody, anybody who will have information of the death of another citizen and conceive those information, if you are caught, you will be charged appropriately. The mother and father of Elisha are here from our investigation. It was alleged that the mother and father of Elisha, Kaple, was posting the, the two suspects with the accuracy of the crime being committed. They were in the know and they kept them, they were aiding and abating them with the hope, according to Gapi, the father and the mother took them to fetish to see what they can do so as to kill the case. Yeah. Wow. So we brought in the mother and father, they are here with us, and if proven, they will have to face it, the law. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, at this juncture, we would like to close on this press briefing. And like the Inspector General said, we will continue to update you on our investigations. Thank you so much.